So which keywords do my visitors use? Now, many of you here are doing a lot of SEO. So where do you find this information? Traffic sources, sources, search, organic. Yeah, they bury it because it's Google and they don't like SEO. But that's the report that you want to be looking at. Again, I've blocked out all the data here because it's commercially sensitive data. Again, the same reports that you're used to. So you can easily flick this into e-commerce and change the values. You can change the percentages. Um, you're all pretty familiar with it. You all know analytics pretty well. With AdWords, the mistake that most AdWords agencies or practitioners use is to think about keywords inside of AdWords. There's a subtle difference. The thing that really matters is the search query, which is what the punter actually typed into Google. The keyword is what you've chosen and what you've put in your AdWords account. If the keyword is close enough to the search query, it's like a magnet, it attracts that search query, causes your ad to show. If you only look at keywords within AdWords, you're really not getting the full story. The important thing, where you're going to find the gold, is to look at the search queries that your prospects use to find you. And then, using your reports to figure out which of those search queries matter for you, for your business. Which are profitable for you. Most people, when they start AdWords, just to go off on my AdWords rant, we get phone calls every week. Yeah, yeah, now I've looked at the keyword tool. There's, there's 1.4 million people searching for this every month in Australia. I'm going to be a millionaire. I've got this new site. It's not very good, but I've got this new site. Can you help me? Okay, put the little tick next to exact on the keyword tool instead of broad match, and you'll see there's actually 53 people a month searching for that term, not 1.4 billion. What's important, though, is what words that you don't yet know, what are those? And while the keyword tool is fantastic at giving you a very rough idea, and it can be very, very wrong, a rough idea of how many people each month in Australia use a particular term, what it's never going to tell you is how that performs for you, for your website, with your conversion rate, with your content, that's why I believe AdWords has to come before SEO. You've got to find out which search queries work for you. Then give the top 5% of those to the SEO boys and say, get me to the top of Google for that. But you've got to know what's profitable for you, not what the free tool tells you and everybody else that's using the free tool. Obviously, if you're running AdWords, you know where to find that data inside AdWords. There's a couple of places. The Dimensions tab is probably the best. But analytics is going to give you additional views of that data. So if you come into your match search query report, now I can see how much revenue each individual search query is driving to my business. I might find that I've got massive differences in conversion rate from one keyword to another. Mm -hmm.